cool, isn't it? Gonna cry. So just like another day in this editing job, here I'm applying a color grid preset to one of my clips and importing a green screen clip from one of my green screen folders and applying an ultra key preset on it to remove its green screen. The upper one using macro keys and the lower one without using macro keys and here are the time difference. Even though I'm using uh, the shortcut keys in the lower one, upper one is already done. And the best part is, it's fully free. All you need is an extra spare cheap keyboard and a bunch of softwares, which I'm going to be showing in this video. Oh god. Oh god. The lower one is still going. You guys are getting bored too. So this second really matters. I should have flushed for this. <laughs> Finally. Well, well, as you clicked on this video, that means you might already have searched a lot of videos in YouTube that how to edit fast. So did I. And I got nothing but tips like avoid your phone, make a standing setup, use shortcut keys, don't let your cat jump on your PC. I'm not saying they're useless. That works, but uh, not quite like this. Okay, okay, so before we start the video, I just want to mention that I'm an island boy. <laughs> this video have mainly have two parts. One is normal, another one is advanced. So all the chapters, timestamps, necessary links, detailed instruction, uh, and other bunch of stuff basically. will be in the description. So feel free to skip the video, pause the video, do whatever you want. Uh, I'm starting the video. Just, just want to say thanks for clicking on this video. I appreciate that. It makes me so happy. So first things first, you will need a software called HID Macros. But for that, come to this website over here. Now move on over here, which says version 2.3. This was the last version ever released. So just uh, simply click on it. This will start downloading a zip file. Now once you download the zip file, just simply right click on it and hit extract to the file. I mean, you will get this folder over here. So simply double click to open this folder. Now you can see the icon HID Macros. Simply right click on it run into the administrator you have to do it for the first time just click on yes and there we go this is our software so before we start messing around with the software we have to create a shortcut for this software so simply just right click on it and come over here and click on create shortcut and simply right click on it cut the shortcut and paste it on your desktop so which you can launch the software so without further ado simply double click on it that just launched your software and this is how it looks like so right off the bat before we start using it move on to the settings tab and simply check on this box so you can minimize this on the tray and put the buffer to zero so it will work instantaneously in in instantaneously if that's the word whoa, whoa, whoa hold up there lad First of all, that website looks very old and hella sus to me. What if this software is a virus? What if it destroys my PC? Great. Okay, 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 let me tell you something. I came up to this software while I was watching Nutty's this video. So I'm not the only guy who used this software. A lot of real artists, editors, streamers using this software for years to convert their keyboard to a stream deck to ease their workflow. So judging by that, it's safe. But I need a keyboard now and I don't have a spare keyboard, so... So what it basically does, it converts your ordinary keys to macro keys. So you can execute any application, keystroke or any script by a single press of a button. And unlike auto hotkey or intercept or Lua macros, HID macros can precisely detect which keyboard are you using. And it's comparatively easier. I don't know why the f I am whispering. So here are my three keyboards, one membrane, two mechanical. None of them supports macro natively like Razer or Corsair. And here I'm pressing the zero key of each keyboard. And notice how precisely it's taking different signals of those zero keys. Presses, which is kinda insane. Let's set up a macro key properly in HID macros. So for example, here I'm gonna be setting up a key to reset to my save layout in Premiere Pro. For most of the people, this key seems not to be that important, but if you're gonna follow up my advanced part of this video, this key will be super helpful and necessary to do that. So let's do it. So open your HID macros and go to the macros tab, click on new, now name whatever you want, here I'm going to be naming Premiere Pro Save Layout, hit scan, hit the key you want to assign of your second keyboard, 
here I press the S. You can accomplish a bunch of stuff with this thing, but for this job, we will need only the keyboard sequence option. So just select it. In Premiere Pro, go to Window, then go to Workspace, and here you will find the keyboard sequence for resetting to your save layout. For me, it's Alt Shift Zero. It's by default. Now you can't use Alt as Alt and Shift as Shift. Percent for Alt and Plus for Shift. So you have to type Percent Plus Zero. Save. Now doesn't matter how much you stretch your screen like this, like this, or like that. You press one key and it's back to default again. Now, there's a small catch here. If you want to add a keyboard sequence like Ctrl Z, you cannot use the Z key of your macro keyboard or for Ctrl S, not S key. Now to create a shortcut key for your import and folder, do the same method like before and assign a key for it. Here I'll be using the G key of my second keyboard. But now in this case, you have to select run application. Go to the location of your folder, simply right click on it and create a shortcut. Now right click on the shortcut, go to properties and copy the whole path away and you know just just copy it come to hid macro click on it press ctrl plus v to paste it save it now whenever i will need to open the folder i will press g believe me or not that saves time for me now for running application from this hid macro follow the same path as i've shown in the video assign a key for me i'm assigning the t key click on run application click on these three dots go to desktop and select the icon for me i'm gonna open twitch so i'm gonna select twitch and simply click on open save it now whenever i want to open twitch i'll press t and look how fast it is is elgato stream deck is that fast i don't know i would appreciate if you drop a follow in my twitch it's fully free i'm trying to reach 50 followers please make this kid happy a bit now if you made it up to here I wanna say, you're absolutely legend bro, thank you. If you drop a like and hit the subscribe button, I would appreciate that. Okay, okay, let's do this. So to get this job done, you'll need two things installed in your PC. First one is Python, second one is Visual Studio Code, uh, a star mark over there. Whoa, 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 <laughs> don't get scared, man. You just don't need to write that code. You just have to copy and paste this shit. However, if it's too much hassle for you and you feel uncomfortable doing this kind of shit, then there is a Premiere Pro extension called Excalibur, which allows you to apply any effect or preset to any clip you want by a single press of a button. But it's kind of sluggy and it's paid, basically. Learn more about that in this video. Now, I want to give you some context before we right jump into it. One day, so I was watching Naughty's video, find out that HID macros exist. It struck in my mind that what if we could apply this thing in Premiere Pro and ease our workflow? Because we drag this shit every day. I searched for it, found that Taran already figured out how to do that ages ago. But he was using AutoHotKey and Intercept.exe, you know. And I'm just a noob editor, not even a coder, so like, how can I do that? Okay. I started watching his tutorial and. Uh, oh, this Download my AutoHotKey script okay. or write. Guess what? Brain got deleted. It. Still I watched, but I figured out the concept. So I had to write a program which will move my cursor from point A to point B and then click on there and type the name of the preset over there and move from point B to point C and then drag it all the way to point A where it started by a single press of a button in a fraction of a second. But it was his auto hot key and I didn't know how to run it through HID macros. Got absolutely no tutorial in YouTube about this. But I stumbled upon these two videos and I discovered that you can actually do the same shit using a Python extension called PyAutoGUI. So guess what? I started learning it and I write the code. And here we are, let's go. So first things first, come to this website over here and simply move around over here. Click on the download. It will start downloading your Python. Once it gets downloaded, just simply double click on this thing. If you don't know anything, just don't mess around with this thing at too much. Just only check this box over here and just click install now and hit yes. Now it will take you a couple of seconds to install this thing. So while it's installing, I want to say you that if you're enjoying this video, please drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It helps me a lot, even though it's free. I learned Python while making this video. So if you're a coder watching this video, you'll be like, why you did this? Why you use that? You could have done this. You could have done that, bro. I have no idea. <laughs> it just works for me. And that's what I'm showing. I would appreciate if you help me in the comments. How can I improve this code? Or like, how can I do the same tasks using VB script or JavaScript? Because I'm trying to find it and I'm not getting it in anywhere so hit the close button so once you're done with it just come to this website over here link will be in the description now come over here which says visual studio code free download and choose your operating system here i'm running with windows 64 bit 
the, I'm gonna select that one for you. Just select which one you want. Just simply select that. That will redirect you to another website, and your download will be started automatically. Let it download, and once it's get downloaded, just simply go there and just double click on your software. I accept the agreement. Hit on next. It's your default path. I mean, you can leave it like that. Hit next. Hit next. Uh, here, check this box that will create an icon in your desktop. You can mess around with these boxes or you know these settings. It's up to you. Now, hit next. Install. It takes a couple of seconds to install. Damn, hit finish. So once you hit finish, it will automatically open your VSC. Just don't look anywhere. Come to this console over here and just simply click on it and just type pip install pi auto GUI and hit enter. For me, it's showing that uh, it's already got installed in my PC. But for you, it will be like a couple of seconds. It will show you a bunch of codes and it will show you that it Pi Auto GUI installed successfully. However, you could have done the same thing by shift right clicking on your directory and just run your PowerShell window and just simply type the same thing PIP install Pi Auto GUI. But I would recommend using VSC because the interface looks family friendly. <laughs> now, open your HID macros, go to the script tools tab and notice now I'm moving my mouse and the X and Y values are changing which basically are the coordinates of my cursor and it will vary from one monitor to another monitor depending upon its 4k 1080p or 720p with 100% or 150% scalability hence once you modify the code it may or may not gonna work with another monitor depending upon these values now open your Premiere Pro and move your cursor to the effects search bar of your save layout and simply note down these values you are getting in some paper or in some notepad wherever. Now simply click on it and search for the exact keyword of the preset you want to add a shortcut of. For me it's a color grade 01, it's a basic color grade preset I created. Now copy the exact keyword and paste it into some notepad, we will need that later. Now move your cursor above your preset and align it kind of middle over the preset and note down those two values again. Now for the last time, move your cursor over that cross icon uh, in that search bar and align it a bit precisely and again note down those values. I guess you already have marked them as ABC separately. Now open your Visual Studio code, go to the top left corner, go to file, create new file and now select language and scroll all the way down to P and select Python. Now open the notepad file which I provided in the description. I guess you have already downloaded it. Now simply open the notepad file and select everything that's in it and simply control C to copy and just go there and simply press control V to paste it. Now after pasting it, if your code gets highlighted by different colors automatically like this, except those brackets, you're good to go. If it doesn't, then your Pi Auto GUI is not installed correctly. So you have to fix that first. Now pull up your notepad where you just noted all those values. Now copy the value of B and put it over here like this now again come back to your notepad and copy the exact keyword which you have pasted just simply copy it and simply paste it over in between these two brackets over here like this and make sure the color remains the same now again pull up your notepad and simply copy the value of c and come over here and paste those values in here like this. Now for the last time, pull up your notepad and copy the value of D and paste it over here like this. So once you're done with it, simply head over to the files, click on it, click on save as. Now give any name you want to give and make sure you save it as .pyw file and click on save so basically our code is ready but i'm gonna test the code before we run it so that's how it looks like in slow motion you click it and the mouse automatically goes to the search bar types for it and, and, and applies it and and now guess what open your hid macros create a new macro name it whatever you want and hit the scan button and assign the key one assign for me here i'm gonna be assigning the c key so press c and simply now click on a run application now click on that three dot and simply change your application to all files. Now select the folder you just created. For me it's color grade 01.pyw and simply open. Save!
Now let me show you how to use it. Simply select the clip and press the macro button. Easy as that, man. That took less than one second, I guess. Damn, that fast, man. Way fast. But Crane, what if we just convert it to .exe file and run it as application so we don't need to install Python and it would run faster? I mean, um, no. Check it by yourself. Before we end, one more thing to do. This. Just pull up your caps and tape it with sticky pads and label them up. Awesome. Looks great to me. This is Crane speaking. Good night. Good luck, take care of yourself, stay safe, and stay human.